What is up, 2K crew? It is Sunday. You know what that day is? Sunday fucking fun day. And look who I have across the table with me. He's back in the flesh. Mr. Kyle, 2K's Kaler. And it was a little different flying solo last week, but hopefully the listeners got uh, had a little bit of a... A little bit of a show, I guess. I mean, you got to stare at my mug for about 40 minutes, so how awful could that be? How awful could that be? But you know what? I've had people tell me even before I have a face for radio, so this is this is kind of perfect, except if you're watching on YouTube. But uh, yeah, YouTube crew, check out the new light. How fucking awesome is that? We're, we're, we're officially YouTubers now, 2Ks, because we have neon lights. Mm-hmm. So you guys better fucking watch out, because we got a lot, of, a lot more tricks up our sleeve. Yeah, yeah, folks, uh, before, before we jump, jump into everything, let's do our normal, let's pay the bills. Uh, hit up Drop Anchor Tavern, 269-646-2525. They are still doing uh, curbside as well as dine-in. And go on Facebook, look them up, Drop Anchor Tavern Marcellus, check out their menu. They, did have, they, they do have a nice, uh, similar to the KFC uh, chicken bowl. I had one of those, uh, I think it was last week, but it was actually very, very good. So highly recommend it, and like I was telling you last week, it it's a very it looks like a small bowl, but until you get it, the thing's five fucking pounds. So definitely, definitely worth checking them out. Two six nine six four six two five two five. Tell them Turbo and Two Ks sent your ass. Well, Two Ks, I, I kind of got into this a little bit last week, and I did want to get your get your take on it. Um, the Long Gone Summer, you know, out of out of the three documentaries that ESPN came out post. Um, the the Jordan one. Mm-hmm. Um, this one kind of piqued my interest mm-hmm. the most, um, just because baseball is my thing. It's your thing. Um, no disrespect to Lance Armstrong or Bruce, uh, and Bruce Lee, to each their own. I, I watched all of them. I thought it was pretty cool. Um, I'll kind of give you some of my initial thoughts, and then I'll, I'll uh, kind of bring you, you know, get your thoughts in. But I, I thought for. If you were going to make a two-part documentary, like like they did with Lance Armstrong, this one deserved one, too. Because mm-hmm. I think there was a lot of things they just kind of eh, bypassed. Eh, bypassed. Yep. But what I thought probably was the best part of it was they didn't just rail on the PEDs. They didn't rail on the steroids. However, you look at some folks that say they didn't, they didn't talk about it enough. Mm-hmm. So it's, it, it's a catch-22 with what it, whatever you do. Um <clears throat> Just like I was saying last week, I I was a huge McGuire guy, so I was kind of pumped and stoked that he was the one that actually set the record at the time. But would it would it would it, would it upset me if Sammy would have done it? No, not at all, not at all. And just to kind of wrap up my portion, um, just because I'm re- 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 kind of reiterating what I said last week, as far as the people that wanted to say wanted Sammy to say he did it. You can read between the lines, and he, he, he did say he did it. Mm-hmm. Um, he did say that, you know, there's multiple Hall of Famers that are in the Hall right now that did it. So, our, and, and, and let me know your reaction, and then we'll kind of collab again after you're done. Uh, I mean, my kind of my first reaction uh, I mean, off of it, and both McGuire and Sosa kind of touched on it during it was basically everybody in all of baseball. Was, there was more people in baseball doing it. What I'm saying by doing it is juicing, obviously, is than, juicing, than not obviously, doing it. So, right. you know, how many of these so, pitchers that you know, these guys were facing that were doing, you know, and it was basically available to everybody if they wanted it. There was there was no set rule that you couldn't do it. Yeah, you couldn't do it. Yeah, McGuire even said it. He's mm-hmm. like, it wasn't against the rules. I didn't. It, it, as far as the rules were concerned at that point, I did nothing wrong. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. And mm-hmm. I think kind of, I know, kind of, kind of the look that I've always had kind of had about it is like these two guys are the ones that kind of you know bit the bullet for the for the whole thing. And and in my opinion, that that should not be how it works out because everybody knew about it. If all of us fans knew about it, then you can't tell me that owners didn't know about it and that Bud Selig didn't know about it. He's the key one right there. Yes, but they're filling their pocketbook and and selling out every single stadium that these two are playing in, and they put baseball back on the map. 
map, so everything was good, so, so we're going to allow this. But so then, allow this. once everybody then, started to catch up to it, but see, the kind of didn't really have anything to say about it, and the owners were just hush hush about all of it, and all the blame went to obviously the two guys that are hitting 70 home runs and 66 home runs. Oh, those must be the only two using, which is not, which is the furthest thing from the truth. And you know, and I've said it so many times, and you know, when conversations that I have about with Barry Bonds, obviously, Alex Rodriguez, obviously, you know, there's there's more. I mean, the list goes on, but there's a lot more that goes into hitting a baseball and hitting that many home runs in a season than just being on the juice. You know, I look at a guy like Mark McGuire, and he didn't need. Steroids, steroids to no, steroids. hit home runs. He was going to hit home runs. Hit home now, runs. Hit the home benefits runs. that he can now, get as far as being able to stay healthy and be on the field, because his Oakland years, that's what he was, he had a hard time when he was in Oakland, just being able to, to stay on the field. Just for the last two or three years, yes. Yes. which yes. kind of ultimately led, yes. led him out the door. Mm-hmm. Yep. 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 So, and, and, and the same so, thing can be said for and, and so many players, you know. So if, if, I don't think that there's a lot, very many players that were juicing that that were to juicing get stronger to hit to more get home runs. I, that just doesn't, home doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. You still have to center up a baseball. You still have to get good pitches, swing at good pitches in order to hit home runs. And the stronger you get, that might be able to buy you a few home runs here and there. But as far as to be able to hit 70 home runs, I don't give a shit how fucking strong you are. You better be able, you better be a you really, really, really good hitter and have a really, really good, good swing mm-hmm. and have a really good eye and not chase bad really pitches if you're going to hit that many home runs. So, to me, you can't take to me, very much credit away from these guys as far as, as you know, to, as, you know, and I'm not saying, you know, because McGuire and McGuire, McGuire are definitely, McGuire and I, you know, you look at what he had, you know, this season alone where he had 70 home runs. McGuire as a whole. McGuire I don't. I don't think he's not a Hall of Famer in my I opinion. I, you know, he had the one I big know, year. You know, Sosa. One big you can kind of make the argument because Sosa did go on and do it. I, what three or four more years, years where he hit over sixty, and and then Barry Bonds, obviously <laughs> Barry Bonds, 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 Bonds baseball player that's ever stepped foot on this earth. So to 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 hold those guys out of the Hall of Fame, especially a guy like Barry Bonds, is just. You know, a lot it's of people want to want to say that. Like Pete Rose. Yes, and that's, that's who I was just going to mention. A lot of people want to say Pete Rose is the biggest. You know, Pete Rose is you know, the biggest. You know. You know, oh, what's the, what's the word I'm looking no, for? The biggest, you know, the letdown as far as not being able, not being in the Hall of Fame. To me, it's Barry Bonds. Barry Bonds is to the best Barry baseball Bonds. player the that's ever played. Player maybe, that's ever played. Maybe, I mean, Mike Trout might be the, you know, the Trout next Trout guy in line to kind of take that from him. But as we stand right now, Barry Bonds, you know, has done did more in his career than Mike Trout has done yet. So for him not to be in the Hall of Fame and for the to be, you know, the only reason why he's not in there is because of the steroids. And to hold that against him when, at, in, in my opinion, um, at that time, there were so many more players that were obviously juicing than not. So you have to just kind of mark that up. I think you have to mark that up as that's the steroid era. But don't hold those guys out of the Hall of Fame. The guys that are deserving of it, they need to be in the fucking Hall of Fame, period. Yeah, I, the, the, only, the, only, the only thing I would add to at least... And I, I agree that McGuire is, is not a Hall of Famer. The thing that might make him closer is his first, like, three or four years. But then again, when I'm looking at a Hall of Famer, I want a whole career, not just, you know, two or three years in the beginning and then the one standout season. And then he, after that he had back issues and stuff like that where he just couldn't, couldn't do it anymore. What I what I found out what I found ironic and one of the things I didn't know in that documentary was he wanted to be a pitcher when he went into college. Had no idea. Had no idea. Which kind of leads me to believe, like, man, I wonder, wonder, wonder how that would have worked out. Probably not as good. Probably not as good. But could you imagine? Hit, just just take the same frame that he was in '98. Put him on the fucking mound. That probably might be the widest pitcher in the in the history of baseball. Not the tallest, obviously, but definitely the widest. And if he could actually, because he uses his lower half in his swing, phenomenally. I mean, he's got some. And one of the things that connects him and Barry Bonds is they both have quick fucking hands. Sosa had a more loopy swing, and, you know, kind of like a Griffey loopy swing. But and two K crew, by all means, I'm not comparing Sosa's swing with Griffey. So do not, do not, do not message me about that. I'm just saying the style of swing. And so. Just having so, that, just, just having the that, dude's, dude's a tree trunk. The dude's, the dude's a tree and trunk. if he could use his legs on and the mound like he did at the, the plate, wow. Mm-hmm. That would be, wow. but that would be, he can throw hard. 
You can throw you can really, throw really hard. fast, but if you, you don't know where the really fuck really it's going, fast, you're not going to be successful. So, but yeah, I, but yeah, I, I just wanted to see more. Maybe just it's just it's more. the baseball maybe fan just, in me, but I, I wanted to see more. more. I wanted to I go, wanted to I wanted to you know, go, maybe, you know, maybe, maybe bring in, maybe bring you know, in a Griffey because they they kind of spotlighted him in the beginning. Yes, Griffey fell off because he had injuries and his production wasn't nearly what the other guys were. Obviously, if they were, he would have been in there. Obviously, if they were, he would have been in there. But. I, I did like, I, maybe it's a I slap in the like, face when they brought in Steve Traxel. Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. he's the dude that and gave up 62. Gave mm-hmm. up 62. And ironically enough, 62 and was the shortest home run out of yeah. all 70. <laughs> yeah. And just that little squeaker and over the left field fence. And I remember that vividly going. That's it? Mm-hmm. That's all you got? Mm-hmm. But it was, it, if I remember right, it was a hanging curveball. He got fooled. But he was able to muscle it out. But he was able to muscle it out. If you if and you look through all you, all because they I'm pretty all, sure they sold they, they, they showed all sure seven. They sold, they, they showed all it, seven. Not not every one was four hundred and fifty. Not, not everyone was four hundred. You know, and for a dude to hit you know, even a handful of four hundred and fifty feet. I mean, look at John Carlos Stanton and Carlos Aaron Judge, the two guys that you Aaron really Judge, think nowadays that just really mash the ball. That and Joey Gallo. That and Joey Gallo. They're hitting three hundred and thirty feet home runs, especially in Yankee Stadium when they can use the line. So. So, it was just, it, to me, it was just ironic it, it, that the, just ironic the the record breaker was kind of the most disappointing one, yeah. out of, out of yeah. one out of all of them. But and I, but, I totally forgot too and that I, I totally forgot too that McGuire did not did not McGuire trail did not, did Sammy not Sosa trail the whole time. Mm. Sosa they were tied a couple of times. Yep. They were tied a couple of times. But yeah. and there was but, but there was he, he was never was, never was, closed never, the day. Never mm. being closed gone. the day. Mm. Being gone. I I, I did, did never I, yeah I, never I, closed the day. But there was Sosa did jump over him. And but McGuire hadn't played that day yet. And then that night I I want to say McGuire that night hit two and went went back ahead. Yeah. But one of the coolest things to me, you know, watching it, because, you know, at the time when it was going down, obviously it's 98, so I'm seven years old. So I'm not, I mean, I'm, 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 I can remember, you know, following this when I was younger, because I did. I watched a lot of baseball when, when I was, you know, really young, six, seven years old. So I can remember following this, obviously. You know, this was kind of the story, you know, and we, and we, and we were able to see that, you know, because it was all over ESPN. And when's the last time that baseball's been all over ESPN? Like, recently. So it didn't matter what game you were watching, they always cut through. Yes, yes. And I mean, yes. and it, I mean, and just that that, that home run race. It was that, always that talked about. And I, I, I can remember, you know, obviously when Bonds was going, you know, they, they, they were talking about it all the time. And, and really, that's 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 the only time that baseball has ever, you know, been in the headliners as far as sports and in my lifetime. Yeah. But one of the coolest things that I take out of watching this this documentary is. This just the the friendship the, that McGuire and Sosa, that McGuire and you know, Sosa yeah, that kind of came upon yeah, on the season because when they talked to McGuire, the season, when, they talked to McGuire you know, when the season was starting, he didn't even know who Sammy Sosa was. No. Well, there, Sammy there, Sosa that, that was. goes for a lot of us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. unless you're a diehard yeah. Cubs fan yeah. or diehard yeah. die 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 Ranger fan. So yeah, you're 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 100 percent right. And the it was a healthy competition. Mm-hmm. It wasn't healthy like fuck you, oh, yeah. fuck you. I can't fuck. fucking stand. Yeah. I mean, there was not. A, I don't think there was I mean, a person was in that stadium other than McGuire that was happier that McGuire hit that 62 mm-hmm. than Sosa 62. being there. And and, and for Sosa Sammy to be, you know, Sammy for the two of them to be there on the same field, you know, the day that it happens. I mean, and I think I think it would have been the same both ways. I think if Sosa would have been the one hitting 62 before McGuire, I think McGuire would have been just as happy for it. I think that was the friendship that they had built through this and obviously mcguire was the one that was supposed McGuire to i mean everybody was supposed to i think every, he, the pressure was on him every, everybody was, was you know calling for him to be the you know to be the record holder the, you know, and sammy i think was it was more like i'm just gonna go out and have fun i'm gonna go out and have fun tonight and and what there's no pressure on me to where i think there was a lot of pressure on mcguire i agree 100 percent so i think it got to a point and it kind of touched on you know even going back to to 61 for for roger maris and and you know you get to the last like 10 or so um i think it was his son in the the documentary that was talking about it and all the pressure that he was under um and then obviously you add that on you to being a yankee yeah and you're breaking you know babe Bruce record, so there. Th- I think there was pressure there because probably a lot of people in New York didn't want to see that record, you know, broke. Or if it was going to be broke, they probably would have preferred Mickey Mantle. And 
you know, because there was they talked about Roger Maris losing his hair. I was just gonna say that a lot of things like that. So death threats. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then you you fat you kind of fast forward that to even the pressure that Hank Aaron was under. I mean, granted, his his was for an entire career, but you know, then then you then you bring in race, and then you bring in the times when it was, and yeah, the man was receiving multiple death threats every day. So I I, I couldn't imagine that even happening to me, let alone trying to go play baseball know, or even go to work or, do, or doing your normal work, shit do, doing your normal with all of shit. that. And yeah, I, I was just going to touch on the other. Roger Maris was so Maris stressed was so that he was losing hair. And, and, you know, for and, that's not you know, normal for, for a dude that's not, not even, thir- mm-hmm. he mm-hmm. might have been in his mm-hmm. early 30s, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. but that that's not normal. That's not supposed to happen. That's stress induced. That's maybe even fear. Absolutely. And, you know, you know, getting back to Sosa, he, he kind of mentioned that he was just playing with house money. Mm-hmm. He, he came from pretty money. much nothing, you know, the, 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 the shoe nothing, shiner, you yeah. know. The, the shoe shiner, and, and, you know, he, he just hit his stride. You know, he, he just and hit his stride. And it's, it's awesome to it's, see that. It's awesome to see that. I think, too, he would have been an extremely too, good player an without, extremely the good player without the juice. McGuire probably would have ended up the same without the juice. Granted, without the records, of course. Barry Bonds. Was, was going to be a Hall of Famer whether he used it or not. I mean, he was probably the first. Probably the first. In my in my, in my me going my, back and, and remembering who I watched playing growing up, he was probably the. Up, if you're talking about a five tool, he was probably the first one I saw that had all five. Granted, Griffey came along. Griffey's another five tool. The only difference is is that Bonds was able to stay healthy most of his career, where Griffey wasn't. Griffey was a better fielder. Mm -hmm. Because you're talking about a a left fielder compared to a center fielder. fielder. It's a different position. Mm -hmm. It's a different position. I've played outfield and slow pitch softball. Never played outfield anywhere else. I can tell you that just the angle of the bat, the spin a righty puts on it, the spin a lefty puts on it, is different in left than it is in center. Than it is in right. And, and, and gr- yeah, the Griffey gets the thumbs yeah, up as far as Griffey the fielding goes. Both had phenomenal arms. arms. Both, both can hit for average, and both for both can hit for power and RBI. Both so both had RBI. great on base percentage. Both had great on base. But but all in all, you know, all in all, like I said, I, I I'm glad the documentary I'm didn't spend forty five minutes to an hour on Pete. You know, they touched a little bit on. Congress and stuff like that. Congress and stuff and like that. And would it would it had been and nice to it, kind of get Palmero nice in there, which I know he'll probably never talk about it. Probably never talk about it. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. But it, um, there, but it, I, I think the witch there, hunt that I, everyone I was looking for was Sammy Sosa saying, I did steroids. I did steroids. He said it at the end. I'm he happy. He I'm, he's he's I'm back happy. in the Dominican I'm, Republic. He's back in the Dominican Republic. Nuzzling up to his grandbabies. Nuzzling and they said, well, what would you say if, because he hasn't been back, hasn't, hasn't even talked to uh, Cubs ownership in over a decade. Uh, over a would decade. you go back? He's like, yeah, I'd go back. He's like, I've got, I've got no hard feelings. He's like, I've got, I've got I'm loving life. The past is the past. So I think it, no. I think no. it follows McGuire more, follows A, because, McGuire he because he lives in, 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 in the States. Mm-hmm. In, in, in B, he States. Mm-hmm. B, he coaches. So if he never came out and so said he did it, that would follow him that for the rest of his life. And every time he did an interview, yep. he'd, have he'd have to answer to it. So professionally, I think he so had to. Professionally, I think he had to. Did he really want to? Did no, because like he said, at the time, he wasn't doing anything wrong. Was it kind of... Was it kind of... Nah, it was, you're entering into the gray uh, area instead of the black and white area, rules. But and white rules. Like I said, I, I, I would have really liked like to see it two harder because I, really like I think they kind of brushed over some things. But all in all, I liked it. So all all, I liked it. And now tonight we have the the LeBron thing where he talks about the decision. Just leave that for another episode. Leave that for another episode. But speaking of baseball... Let's shift Speaking gears baseball, into fucking overdrive 2Ks fucking because we're going to have a season. Yeah. At least, you know, as of... Where we stand right now. Whatever the date is today. Whatever the date is today. 628. We are going to have a 60-game uh, season. Game. Yep. 60 game season. And I saw that the they're, they're working on the schedule. The, they're, they're and the, the first game is the Nats are hosting the Yankees, if I do believe. Now... Now... I'm pretty. I, I'm. I'm pretty. I, I'm, 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 I'm. I'm still. Still I'm, on the fence. I'm, 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 I'm glad. I'm glad it's happening. I'm glad. I hope it's happening. not watered down. Just I bullshit. Hope it's not watered down. Just bullshit. But 
On the other hand, right. whoever wins the World, the Series hand, year, whoever wins the World Series this year, I don't think it should count. Mm-hmm. 60 games is way, way far different than 162 games. Than 162 and you, know, you, you and I have and talked at great lengths you, about you it. I kind of talked about it you know, last week. About it. Is that, is you know, that, there, there's a lot of young there, teams that can catch fight when they absolutely. I mean, granted, the Yankees and Dodgers can come right out the gate and just dominate fucking everybody. Do I think it's going to happen that way? Do I think it's going to happen that way? Um, no. However, um, with this time however, off, this the Yankees time are off, getting uh, Paxton back. Getting, mm-hmm. uh, Paxton He's not going to not going to spend any time on the IR. I mean, they're because to me, no, that's the that's the chink in their yeah, armor. Yeah, the they starting pitcher. Aaron, Aaron Judge also, you know, doing bat, also taking you know, batting practice now, and so it's actually looking like he's going to be healthy at the beginning to where maybe Stanton can play all sixty games. You know, and there's. There's, There's been some rumors. I don't know how true they are. That uh, Cole might just Cole might not pitch just because of safety reasons. He might not pitch. And I, and because I, I believe he he just had a young child. It's not just yeah, yeah. He's, he's being a dick. Yeah. No, it's it's for the the say, and mm-hmm. you, you can look all, all across sports. You know, we got the NBA up here. There's been two or three guys that are like, no, I'm cool. No, I'm cool. And the WNBA is the same way. There's a lot of a, a lot of players like, no, I'm good. I'm good. I got I got family. I want to make sure that a a I don't want to spend that much time, especially when we're talking about the NBA and the WNBA, where they're going to be under a bubble. They're like we 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 want to be with our family. We want to make sure our family's safe. So whatever their decision is, cool, no problem. But I have a feeling that. But I have a feeling that if if. If it does, if these if it does, if tests these keep coming back negative, keep coming back which negative. I have a feeling is will, which because I have because a feeling is will, you're getting people in a new environment, mm. it's bound to happen. Mm. And mm. how many of these and top guys are just going to be like, no, nah. like, nah. yeah. yeah. no, then it's going to get watered yeah. down. Yeah. Then it's going to get watered down. Or if you're a Tigers fan, then they start or bringing kids up, which they're just going to call them in because they're they're not really anywhere. Which actually might be more exciting for Tigers fans. Yeah, but. Um, and you, we, I, I, I'm not, not just we, I, poking I, fun and just you know making fun, fun of Tigers fans. fans. That might happen to Tigers every team. Mm-hmm. Might happen to and you're going to see some mm-hmm. kids that might not. That they might have been not, September college that, 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 that we might get to see for 60 mm-hmm. games, which could be really, really exciting. Which Especially really if exciting. you know, like I said, the, if the Yankees and Dodgers just take off like House of Fires. There's not a lot to kind of cheer about, so you want to see your new, you know, the young dudes, the young dudes. And if the things go and south for the Tigers, go south for the, the last Tigers, 10, 15 games, the last 10, 15 why not bring up Torkelson? Yeah. Why not? <laughs> Give him a run. You got, I mean, he, he's, he, he's, he's going to be there eventually. He's going to be there. Eventually. And it's not like, and it's not like you know, you're bring, I, you know, you're bringing, him, cause up cause I, bringing him up in September might have been a reach this September year. If, if, if the season had been. Yeah. Yeah. But with this kind of short format, fuck why not? Do, do, do I think not? they will? No. Do, do I think they will? No. But you might see no. you might see you Casey might Mize see, get mm. get Casey the ball Mize a few get, times and some of the other young kids. Yeah. Because I, I really don't think the Tigers are I, one of those really young teams that can pop off this year. But why not? But why not? Why not? I mean, it's, not? especially if Mize can, you know, especially is healthy because he had the shoulder. Th- I think it was last year. Yep. So if he comes up, comes back healthy, give give him two or three starts. Yep. Why not? I totally agree. I totally agree. I don't want to see him um, necessarily rush anything, or you know, kind of thought that. The way that they handled Fulmer when Fulmer was, you know, in his rookie year. He's another one, too. And they, they just they didn't use him right. And I thought that, you know, they had him pitching all the way down the stretch and him being young. And, yes, he was having a very good season and potentially, you know, rookie of the year season and, and all that. But just the, they, they, to me, in my opinion, they overused him. And what happens the next year, you know, the injuries start to come. And now it's a question mark of if, is he ever going to be a starter again. So. Well, I, I, I think, too, that. I, I, he's I another one that, that, that kind of benefited from this delayed start. Mm-hmm. So he can get top yeah, notch, get, his, get, get back to the best he can. And then let's see. Mm-hmm. But 2K crew, breaking, 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 breaking fucking news. Breaking fucking news. According to Adam Schefter and Chris Mortensen, Cam Newton signs a one year deal with the Pats. With the Pats. 
Mm-hmm. 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 Jared Stenham, maybe, Jared maybe Stenham, has something maybe. to look out for now. Maybe has something to look out for now. But yeah, I just, just, just saw but that. Yeah, and I thought that was juicy as fuck, so I wanted to share with you guys. But then again, you probably won't hear this yeah. till but Tuesday. But you know, at, to bring up another thing, you know, we, when we talk about this Corona, it, this is the most important year to have a legit backup quarterback. Oh, absolutely. I mean, it, it is. You're one test away from being out for potentially two weeks, two weeks, three weeks. You know, however long. This, this, this drags out so in, in my opinion these I, I think you're gonna see it everywhere these teams are gonna are gonna overpay for a backup quarterback situation and I'm not saying that Cam Newton's gonna be the backup because it would not shock me if he you know breaks camp as the, as the starter there uh, but it, 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 to me, that's just. It, it, I, you're, I, I've been hearing a lot of people talking about it, and I know. Let's see what the contract is for. I'm curious. But I, I think it's. But I, I think it's, if you're looking for a backup. If looking for a backup. If you, if you're Cam Newton and, and you, you want to be a starting Newton, quarterback, that's probably, starting probably the best backup role probably you can have, just because Stidham is unknown. Just because Stidham is unknown. He's not. He's not. A, he's not a proven not a, vet. A, and of course, my phone isn't going to load it. Of course, my phone isn't going to load it. Um, but whereas everywhere else has already been, I mean, like been, the Chargers, on the other hand, the Chargers, they, the they pretty much drafted theirs. theirs. The Dolphins drafted theirs. But as far as, you know, the, the, the jobs that are open you know, the, the or not open, open or could be open, I think that's the best landing spot to be, had the best probability of winning a job coming out of camp. So, and then on that, you have shortened camps and everything else like that. So. So could be really, really interesting. Really, really and really for interesting. those of you, I do have not just Morgan, but her sister Layla <laughs> and her sister <laughs> Josie over today. So we do apologize if they are chirping, and they, they obviously must be Cam Newton fans. <laughs> Who knows what's going on? Who knows what's, Who knows going, what's on? going on? Who knows what's but, going on? Uh, no, I, but uh, getting no, getting back I, to the baseball. I mean, getting back to the baseball. I mean, I'm curious to see how it's going to go. I'm curious to see how it's going to go. I'm trying not to be Debbie not Downer be and negative Nancy. Debbie Downer I'm and not, negative Nancy. I'm not. I'm not. Yeah. I'm not. Um, I'm not. Um, but I. But I. 2K crew, you, you're going to have to. You're going to have to rein me in on this because I think it's going to be a watered down season. It's. They're going to put it out for the sake they're of putting put it out. Mm-hmm. For the sake of and now, putting that's why the owners didn't want that many games. Because mm-hmm. the more games they play, the more, the the more, more games, games, they games they checks they have to put out. And I think that... Um, and they're still not even sure how the travel is going to go. Sure Hell, the Blue Jays can't even play in their stadium because you can't cross the borders. So... I really... I mean, now, it, 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 just with the, know, the, the increasing with the, numbers the of positive tests, I mean, hell, you, you even look at golf. <laughs> mm-hmm. Granted, I don't, I don't think any of the, Granted, the big name golfers the have tested positive, but their caddies have. Mm-hmm. Their caddies have. And who do they spend the most time with? Who do they spend the most time with? And I want to say there was one gentleman that his caddy tested positive. His tea time got pushed back because he tested negative mm-hmm. so negative. just to give, give him an extra so bit of time extra they pushed his tea, tea, tea time back to the end granted he was i, I want to say it was like three or four over so it was not like he was yeah. contending but uh by the way congrats to dustin but, uh, johnson way, congrats, i think i saw dustin that he won, he won that that was a hell of a tournament but yeah the, we, we didn't get to see brooks kapka we didn't get i can't remember the other guy that was uh it was the same thing his caddy and you're right and you're right what are the what's the protocol what when the, someone does? The how many of these how many of positive these tests is it going to take to be like mm, we got to shut this down? Because mm-hmm. baseball's, not playing, in, in, in baseball's not playing in a bubble, ladies. Yeah. In, in a bubble. That, that's that's not the that's not that's, the that's not the, it's not the plan. Not the, not However, on, on a positive note, However, on, on if you positive, are a Cubs fan, I did see that Cubs potentially see that the Cubs playing some. A, 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 I, don't some I don't know if they were preseason or whatever games at. Uh, the field in uh, South Bend. Mm. The field in uh, so. South Bend. So. Four Winds Field. There we go. Yeah. Four so that, that, that would be kind of yeah. cool. Mm-hmm. That would be kind of cool. Kinda cool. Mm-hmm. Um, um, get, get to see a big league team on that on that field, and that obviously the, field. there can't be a lot of people because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. obviously just the stadium is way smaller. But that might be kind of cool. Yeah. But like I said, I'm trying not to be Debbie Downer. I'm trying not to be negative Nancy. But to me, to me. 
Maybe maybe I maybe I'm a maybe, purist. Maybe, I, maybe that's maybe what I'm in, or maybe I'm just what I'm in, or maybe just a fucking just pessimist. Yeah. I, I I don't know. No, i I've, I've been I the, well. No, I, I haven't really been shy about it the, this really the last two, two months. months. Like I just think that this whole thing is is, for lack of a better term, kind of a joke. And I I just don't. I, I just don't. I, I understand what they're trying to do, I and I, I, I know that they're trying to put a product out there for, for us fans to, to watch. And, and I know that a lot of these players, most of these players, they, they're itching. They want to get out. This is what they do. This is their job. This is what they do for a living. They want to get out and play. But I just, I don't. But I just, I'm, I'm I having such a hard time trying to like take it in like a 60 like, game season and like you're supposed to be like, even as a fan be, but then I'm trying to put fan, myself in like a I'm in a player's shoes too like, like, like you're supposed to be excited about that like a 60 game season and say you do go on and you win that that world series or whatever you want to fucking call it like you're that's you're going to be excited about that there's not going to be any fans in the stands to watch it that's what you feed that's what you feed off of as the fans and they're not even going to be there and it's just like I, 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 I don't. I have such a hard time with this. I guess the only thing that I'm kind of, you know, somewhat curious about. Two things that, that I'm. I guess I'm. I'm. I'm somewhat excited to see. I think you're going to see a lot of younger players that, you know, get an opportunity. So for me, being a Tigers fan, obviously we're not competing for anything big. So I, I, I think maybe we'll be able to get a gauge for some of these younger players they do have to be able to see them. They do have larger than normal rosters. So that, that, you're right. You can, you know, carry extra dudes. Mm-hmm. That you, that you wouldn't carry yeah. during the normal yeah. season, and, yeah. and for the tiger, the tigers they have. You know, I'm not necessarily looking at position players because I, I don't think that I think that they'll kind of. You know, they might filter a few of them, yeah, in, but, but like for people, people that, that are thinking like Torkelson's going to be getting, you know, over a hundred at bats this year, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. They're not, not going to rush. Yes, yeah, they're not going to rush him. Baseball is a game of confidence, and the last thing that you want to do to a, you know, twenty twenty one year old kid that just that was the first pick of the draft mm-hmm. is take away that confidence so they're, they're going to ease that in i mean you're not playing for anything important right now right so you got to keep his confidence level as you know as high as it can be but for some of these pitchers that are borderline ready like casey mize and the matt mannings and then the school rules i think i think those are the ones i think those yeah those are the ones i think that that you will see it you know not not necessarily pitching you know in a in a, in a you know every five day rotation you know, but I think we'll see him. You know, maybe try to we'll mi- mix in three or four starts throughout this this year. Throwing some bullpen and work. Yes. Yep. Bullpen just, work. Yes. just to see what they got. Yep. And you know the the Tigers could actually look at this as like you know all right we got fucked out of spring training right, mm-hmm. or at least the second half of it. Or at least the second half. Why not use this as spring training? Mm-hmm. Why not? Why not? Spring training? I mean, and uh, and Tigers fans, I know I'm not. I'm not we're not dogging on you. We're, we're just trying to be fucking realistic. I'm not going to sit here and blow smoke up your ass and say that you guys are going to win the win the central by any means. Win the central by. But you're. Si- Use this right, to you're, set yourself up for success up next year. Success. Next year, yep. two years from now. Next year. Two years. Use it as an extended spring training. Yep. Extended I mean, spring training. Yep. I, 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 I didn't see I, I, I if didn't there's. See if there's. I'm assuming the injury assuming the reserve is going to be the same, and you know you can call up and bring down just like you could before. Just like you could before. So why not? Why not? And hell, I'll I'll throw my Red Sox in there too. I'll throw my Red Sox in there too. They have a better chance of making noise in the East than the Tigers do of making noise in the Central. However, you look at you look at the teams in the East. There's some big boy teams there. I mean, don't sleep on the fucking Rays. They're always tough. And hell, the Yankees are projected to be the best team in baseball. So, of course, the Orioles are the Orioles, but. And then you got Toronto. That's yeah, you know that's you up and coming. I mean, you look at some of them prospects, and those are not even prospects anymore. I'm talking no, about you know guys like the Bo Bichettes and the Bugios and the Vladimir Guerrero Juniors. Like those guys are gonna take off, and if it's not this year, it's gonna be next year. I mean, those guys are are so close to taking off and being you know face of baseball type of players. I mean, those are those are you can't miss you know talent right there. So. Right it's so them, the White Sox, and the Padres. The if they, Sox, they make some yeah. noise in the playoffs, it's pitching. They have yeah. to. They have to pitch. They have to be able to pitch. Yeah. Position wise, but all those teams Position are wise, set. They're ready to go. It's set, can these young go. kids that we've never necessarily heard of? Can they? Can they pitch? Can they pitch? And they? Can they? You know, if they can win games, you know, pitching, the bats are going to be there. I don't. I don't worry about that one bit with any of those teams. I don't worry about that. Out of those three, I think I would have to go with the Tigers. I think I would have to go with the Tigers. I think I would have to go with the Tigers. I think I would have to go with the Tigers. I think I would have to go with the Tigers. I think I would have to go with the Tigers. I think I would have to go with the Tigers. I think I would have to go with the Tigers. I think I would have to go with the Tigers. I think I would have to go with the Tigers. I think I would have to go with the Tigers. I think I would have to go with the Tigers. I think I would have to go with the Tigers. I think I would have to go
Sorry, I have but, to agree with no, you. But no, correct me if I'm wrong. No, correct me if they I'm signed wrong. De- Dallas Keuchel, right? They mm-hmm. signed Dallas So Keuchel, you, you have the vet. So mm-hmm. you, you have Giolito. Mm-hmm. I mean, Giolito. there's I mean, a very good there's a very vibe good around that pitching staff where, where I can't name you a starter. I can't name you from a the starter, ad, from, from the Blue Jays. From the, ad, mm-hmm. from the Blue Jays. The Padres have a stud pitching lineup if they can perform. They They're not proven. Mm-hmm. They're you not give proven. me two guys that are proven. Giolito is going to be a beast again. Be a beast and again. just to have the and have, uh, have <coughs> Keiko be the head of that staff, <coughs> kind of that Mark Burley as because they in my opinion they pitch very similar. Oh, absolutely. And look at the staffs that Burley led. No, I guarantee that his stats aren't going to be the leading. He's going to be that fucking you know vet that's going to. The, the, those team. other two teams don't have a vet like that. So, and you, you look at so, you know you, you, you mentioned some at, of the kids on on the Toronto roster. On, look at the, the fucking Toronto White Sox roster. Oh yeah, are you, kidding, Sox, me? No. are you kidding me? I mean, no. just go up and, and I mean, the one that gets totally overlooked is Abreu. He's the one that's been there forever. Yeah, he's done nothing but consistent his entire career. I mean, you're looking at a guy that has done nothing but bat right around 300 every single season he's been in there. He drove in 100 runs. Every single season that he's been there, and you know, hits about thirty to forty home runs every single year, and nobody talks about the guy. No. And nobody talks no. about I'm, the guy. I'm going to parallel this. I know White Sox fans, you might not like the comparison. But to the 2016 Cubs, but to the 2016 Cubs, Lester, Lester, Keiko, you have. Granted, there wasn't that G Lito for the Cubs, but look at the position players. But look at the position. All young. All farm all grown, young, and the one that's kind of forgotten. And the one that's kind of forgotten. First baseman, mm-hmm. right there. First baseman, mm-hmm. right you know, Rizzo. There. Rizzo is mm-hmm. is, a, Rizzo, the, Rizzo vet. is the, now, the vet. Now, granted, you, you take that. Granted, you take I think that, the what's gonna the, the one gonna, the one missing the piece one, for the one missing piece for the White Sox for, might be that Sox David Ross that, kind of character. Mm-hmm. David Ross, kind you never know. Mm-hmm. I think David Ross did more behind the scenes Ross for that Cubs team than anything Cubs he ever did. Well, he, he caught he Lester. Did. That's mm-hmm. about it. He mm-hmm. caught Lester. But, but the similarities are the too similarities great are too for great anyone not to just be like, no, you're wrong. No, but no, they right. have every, no, but they've they checked, checked a lot of the same boxes checked the Cubs did. The same boxes the and Cubs did. even going back and to, I hate to talk about the Astros, but kind of a similar, similar situation. Look at all situation. the kids that came up through mm-hmm. the Astros. Yeah. They're, they're not fucking yeah. done either. They're, they're not we, fucking I don't think we've even come close to seeing what Jordan can do. And there's a lot of people sleeping on them, which when the season does get started, once their black and blues heal from everyone fucking clipping them in the box, and I box. cannot, I cannot, I like, cannot, the, the one game I want to see is the Astros against the Reds. Does <laughs> mm-hmm. Trevor Bauer have something to do with that? Because I don't, I, I have a feeling I don't, I, the, I the Reds feeling could be one game out of, out of playoffs. Game he doesn't give a fuck. Mm-hmm. Every a every dude's gonna wear every, one until he gets thrown out. <laughs> I mean, it's, it, to me, it's. And, I mean, it's, it, to and, me, it's. And, and I'm all for. And, I'm all for these guys. I'm all for, you know, I'm all for these guys. You know, getting back, getting even with these getting with them. Back, I, with what I don't want to see though is don't, don't, go is, is don't go out and be and bean the Yordans and and you know Kyle Tucker. You know, another young player. I'm talking. Go out there and bean Otuve. Bean Bregman. Bean Correa. Those are the guys. Those are those are the three to me that I like. You got one. You know. You have one you coming. One, you know, if they start throwing bean balls at Jordan, no, that, 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 I'm against that. that. He had nothing to do with it. He, he can't do anything about it. that. You're talking, about, you're talking about you know one of the best up and coming, you know, especially power hitters, 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 hitters in the game today. Don't take it out on him. He had nothing to do with any of that. He was, yeah, he was definitely not had no part in that. Bregman and Altuve, fucking bean them. You know, do do what you got to do with those guys. But you know, leave leave the other guys that have nothing to do with it. Leave them out. But they had nothing to do with it. And I think. Uh, I think Mr. Bregman think, might uh, Mr. Bregman be wearing might most of them be just because of his mouth. Oh, yeah, he can't keep his mouth shut. No, 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 whereas Altuve, he's chirped a little bit, mm-hmm. but he's kind of backed bit, off. Mm-hmm. And then you got Correa that's Korea just Korea talking to talk, yeah. not talk really making any talk. sense. Yeah. Yeah. Really but, yes, sense. Those but yes, those three are going to be wearing some shit. And now, I brought this up with Softball Scrimmage Thursday. Uh, me, Rich, and Kyler were riding up, and we started talking about the same situation. It's like, here's, here's one that, here's something you might want to keep an eye on. Okay. Okay. Third game in a row. 
third one of the row, one of the Stroh's dudes the, gets plumped. One of the Stroh's dudes gets plumped. You're the pitcher sticking up for your dude. You're the pitcher sticking up. Let's for say, your dude. just for Let's instance, say you're just playing for the Yankees. Instance. You're playing the Yankees. And and Verlander throws Verlander a judge, hits him right in the back, judge, right square in the back. back, right square in the back. There's gonna be a brawl. There's gonna be, and a that's brawl. where you're really going to and see. That's where you're really going to see a fight. Mm-hmm. None of this baseball fight where None we clear the dugouts. I mean, it's going to be like Yasiel Puig fight like where he's Yasiel trying to fight the whole Puig fucking team. And that's where you're going to see a lot of cheap shots and the dudes that, you know, the position players that are kind of upset that can't really obviously get any. That's where it's going to get out of hand. Not with. And I understand you're retaliating for your dude. But on the other hand. But on the other hand. Let's see how many times it happens. Yeah. Because I have a feeling that yeah. a, a couple of these a, a like good these, brawls, I'm not, and, and brawls, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not talking about the guys jogging from the bullpen. Well, this is going to be a fight. Oh, I mean, there's going to be blood. blood. There's actually going to be punches be that actually land. Actually you know? Land. Odor. Bam. There's going to be a couple of those. And you're probably going to see Altuve run the other fucking way. Bregman will probably stand there and take it. He should. With as much as he ran his mouth, he should. But... And, that, and to me, that's but, what what they need to do. And the way, like I don't, and, and I, look, I'm like, all for getting even, and, and, and I'm all for the bean ball. And, and I love it, but I don't want to see it. But I don't you know, want this, to see this, it. This shit, shit you know, needs this, to be done with in the first couple weeks of the of the season, and then it needs to be over. Move on, it's over. We got even, we bean you a few times, now we're done. Because you know, it's really easy for the pitchers. It's really easy for the you know for Trevor Bauer to sit there and say, "I'm going to fucking bean this guy, and I'm I'm getting even with." But you don't have to step up in the box, Trevor. You don't have to go back out there and step up in the box. Especially this year, especially this year, you know, DH for everybody. Which so you know, if I'm a if I'm a position player, like trust me, I'm pissed off at these guys, and I want to get back to them. And then you know, bench is clear. Okay, now I'm going to go try to throw my haymaker on Altuve or. Or on Bregman or something, but I don't necessarily want my pitchers throwing at them. Because especially, hey, I'm a guy like Mike Trout. And my pitchers throwing at them. You, who do you think that they're gonna when they retaliate? Who do you think they're gonna hit? They're gonna fucking hit Mike Trout. They're not gonna hit the eight nine guy in the lineup. They're gonna go right for your best player. And that's what you can't afford. That's when you, that's when you're gonna you no. Know, if you see uh you know one of these one of the top players go out with a broken hand or with something, you know, something like that off of a fucking bean ball off of just you know just petty stupid shit. Because your dumbass can't control. A fucking bean ball yeah. and hit him in the back. Yeah, so yeah. It, 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 yeah. I, I, I want to see. I, look, I want to see these guys get hit. I want to see them get drilled. It's gonna I don't want to see it happen in the spring because that's just that's that's cheap shit. I want to see it happen on you know on the main stage. But do it and then be done with it. Don't drag it out for or don't decide. Oh, I'm a, you know we're, we're six seven weeks into the season now and I'm gonna fucking bean Bregman with this. Don't do it then. Do it at the beginning. I mean, if you don't have the opportunity to play against them in the beginning of the season, sorry, you're out on this one. Let the guy that plays against him in, in you know, game one, game two of the season drill. But, and to be honest with you, it, to me, the, the dudes that have the most legitimate gripe are the teams that Astros beat in the playoffs. Hmm? If you did, if your team didn't make the playoffs, yeah, fuck you. Yeah, no, yeah. You, you're, you're just doing it to do it. Mm-hmm. There's, there's really no reason to do it. And that's why I back up Trevor Bauer because he was right in the middle of it yeah, with absolutely. Cleveland. Absolutely, I'm all for it. Mm-hmm. But if you know if there was some pitcher for Detroit you know, spouting off like he was going to get even, shut the fuck up. Yeah, you you had nothing to do with it. Now Matthew Boyd, shut your mouth. I mean, you did nothing. In all honesty, the one that should just line up there and hit hit all of them is fucking Clayton Kershaw. Yeah, I mean, best fucking pitcher in the game, and they made him look like. You know, look like a fucking like, joke, and then you know, it all comes joke. out. Oh yeah, we, we were cheating. Well, he, he, he's, he's probably cheating. the one. I, I would say that he would be the least person to do it. Him, mm-hmm. I, 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 it's not in his yeah, DNA. I, 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 now, now you get Walker Bueller on the other hand. He might, he might put one between the shoulder blades. But just, just in my opinion, I really don't think that it's in Clayton. And. And for me, Kershaw is that professional. Me, I'm pretty sure, sure he's like, eh, it's done, it's sure done. Like, eh, it's done, it's done. Yeah, it's done, it's done. And then on top of that, yeah. Do, do yeah. you want Bellinger wearing one? Do you want Max Muncy wearing one? So there's give and take to, to everything, but I, I, I think it's going to happen. I think because even in spring training, these dudes are getting plumped. But yeah, but now if if yeah, if Kershaw is gonna plunk anybody, you know, one of those twelve to six, probably I I'd wear one of those. I mean, but 
<laughs> yeah, that, that that would be like yeah, the that, most that, uh, that would be the like most the cordial most, part of it. Uh, mm-hmm. The most cordial part. But uh, of it. yeah, it's but, uh, ladies and gentlemen, yeah, it's, it's gonna happen. How long? I, I think baseball is long, ready to kind of pounce. Ready to kind of because they know what's going to happen mm-hmm. because they they're the one that fucked up and dropped the ball on the punishment. So now they're gonna have to clean up a mess. And now having a, in my opinion, having a shortened season, sixty games. I mean, sixty games. I mean. There's going to be a lot of teams that are going to be out of this shit, and they're going to be like, all right, fuck it, yeah, fuck it, let's just drill them. I don't give a shit. I want to see myself on sports. Yeah, watch this. Watch this. I, if I, and and for pitchers, like, what are you going to fucking do? Give them a five game suspension, so they, what, they miss their, they miss their next start by a day. They miss their next start by a day. So there's, there's really no way to punish them. There's really no way to punish them. What, I mean, what's Major League Baseball going to do? Change, change the rules? Change what they've done? You know, where they've always handed out that five-game suspension? Are they going to change that now? Well, that's just going to piss off people even more because now we're changing the rules for a bunch of fucking cheaters. Change the rules for so many broke rules. Yeah. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah. That doesn't make any sense. Well, 2K crew, I, I hate well, the dogs crew, are going crazy, so I have a feeling there's crazy, something so behind door number one over here. <laughs> door one so 2K one. crew, have a great so week. 2K crew, have a great week. 2Ks, it's great to have you back, my friend. Great to be back. And hopefully, you know, NBA is cranking up. NBA is NHL is cranking up, which I I guess they are. Um, baseball's are. cranking up, and um, we still have football scheduled to go. Football so everyone, keep your fingers go. crossed so that not only football can go, but football can go, college, but football. college football. Mm-hmm. College, college football. football. And, mm-hmm. and we should probably talk about fantasy football. Yeah. Fantasy what football. do you think about that? Yeah. Absolutely. Let's do a fantasy football Let's episode, fantasy get everyone football hyped up, get everyone, get everyone ready, everyone because ready. this shit's going down. Yeah. Like I said earlier, and you're you better down. have... You're, you're going fucking going down. down. Yeah, you're everybody always says that. <laughs> Never happened. <laughs> but, <laughs> no, like I said earlier, but, no, like I said earlier, how far do you stretch in and draft that backup quarterback in going into the season knowing that? Two K's is giving you his... You better stay on them for this long. He's giving you draft tips. You guys can take those to the bank. And If there's anybody that you want to have tips from it's probably your boy 2Ks your boy 2Ks is uh, I'm sure if you message him he'll give you his PayPal account and he'll be happy (laughs) to help you for a fee 2K crew we love you guys stay safe have a great week and Jim Rome as always we're coming for you as always we're coming for you